Hello everyone and welcome to Star Wars Empire Nights. I am your host, the Dark Lord of the Empire. And today we want to talk about the Book of Boba Fett, Episode 5. And wow, wow, what, what simply do we say about this episode? Just that Boba Fett wasn't in it. Which is crazy, right? So, let's get right into it, okay? Um, if you're new to the to the channel, please like and subscribe. We're trying to grow our, our viewership here. So thank you so much for, for that and doing that and spreading the word. Mm, so let's get right into it. This episode was all about Din Djarin, the Mandalorian. And how great was it? How, how amazing was it that in this episode you had everything that makes a a show be great from start to end and we knew Din Djarin was coming in because even at the end of the last episode episode four where uh Fennec had said you know not unless you know where to look in the right places and then it played the Mandalorian theme so we knew Mando was coming in but the way that they delivered it was amazing and right out the bat, let, let's talk about this. We could get into the whole details of the show. But how amazing was Bryce Dallas Howard, like, directing this episode? She did a phenomenal... I, I'm even trying to think about... I, I wonder if this is my favorite episode out of all the Mandalorians and the Book Above Fett. Now, we know the Book Above Fett, it hasn't been the greatest right and the Star Wars fans it was like oh, man it kind of doesn't feel like our Boba Fett because our Boba Fett kicked butt like he was the one that kicked butt and he was so mysterious and had this aura, this aura around him for all these years and it's just to see him get beat up to see him go through some of the stuff has been very hard especially with your uh, you know you were a kid from the original trilogies which I was. That's how old I am. And I, I mean, seeing Bubba Fett the way he is, is just, you know, not, that's not the way. <laughs> but the Mandalorian, that was the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, the way that Bryce Dallas Howard handled this episode was simply amazing. Like, this has to get an award of, of some kind. Like, this is single-handedly the best episode i think that that disney has put out and that is amazing and and i'm even i i i, I rave about the ahsoka episode from the mandalorian ep from series but this this was really really good the putting the nabu fighter which we we had talked about here in the n1 putting that ship together and just making it like a muscle car almost aesthetic to where like oh man we're gonna have these parts and this is gonna be cool we're gonna have these aftermarket parts and i think any car person could relate to that part of the episode and i think that's what made it great the the what is it tba t <laughs> where you have to check your baggage and everything when you're going through the airport i think many of us have gone through that if, if you've flown and to have that put into this series and say, hey, you know what? It makes the show relatable. And I think that's what characters like, what made Spider-Man who he was, was because Stan Lee wrote him the way that we relate to these characters. How do we relate to these characters? And I think Bryce Dallas Howard and John Favreau uh, captured that. They, they made us have some kind of connection to that experience which is brilliant brilliant part and we see mando i mean the opening scene with him kicking butt and i mean there was more violence in those three minutes than all of the rest of the the, the four episodes of bubba fett like that was awesome like why can't bubba fett do that why can't bubba fett have that kind of uh action and simply amazing this episode was hands down the best one 
and Mando uh, seeing the continuation, seeing that uh, what happened to the to the armor and the rest of the the Mandos, and even getting challenged for the blade was was for the dark saber was amazing even that whole sequence and of course that's john favreau in the in the other mando suit and seeing what had happened from continuing from the mando series to this one to where the other mandalorians went and uh the the city the world reminded me very much of halo islam it, it was just it's weird seeing a planet like that, but I like the 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 production art, the the, the storyboards that were for it. Um, I just you know some of those things just felt off, and I'm I don't know. I know that the, I think I've seen them in comics about the the Ring World. Um, I just don't know how I feel about it. It just feels very much Halo, um, which I love. I just don't know how it works in the, the Star Wars universe, but nevertheless, that's a minor mute point to to that. That's my preference. That's not yours, but it is what it is, right? Aside from that, amazing episode, amazing episode that we got, and we got to see Mandel's journey of learning, seeing that he's still thinking about Grogu. He's still thinking about Grogu and wants to pay a visit to Grogu, and we get to see that when he the Baskar steel the 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 lance the that part that was taken from when Ahsoka had defeated um the uh, oh I, I'm escape her name is escaping me right now but that staff was melted down for it looks like chainmail for for Grogu and so Din Djarin is going to want to go find Grogu and leave that. And I thought it was so cool how the armor had put Grogu's, um, wrapped up the chainmail in a little like napkin almost or handkerchief and made the, the symbol of, of Grogu. I thought that was so cool. And, um, we see, we see Finnick come in. And proposed to Mando, saying, hey, Boba Fett needs help. Was going to give him credits. And Mando said, nah, keep your credits. He goes, but I got to go pay a visit first. So he's letting them know that he's going to go see Grogu and Luke Skywalker. And through this episode, Mando was trying to handle that Darksaber and how, how heavy it felt. And I always thought it was very cool and um if you've watched any kind of uh behind the scenes on star wars george has always said that the lightsaber is very heavy and makes it look light but the jedi are trained to handle a lightsaber but it's very heavy and in this episode we see how the dark saber is and the dark saber is similar to where it's very heavy and you gotta learn how to wield it and it's just like a lightsaber so I think in this next episode, not only is he going to go see Grogu, but I think Luke is going to train Mando on how to wield this saber. And I'm looking forward to that. I mean, Wednesday cannot get here soon enough. I, amazing series. Bryce Dallas Howard, if you ever get to hear this, amazing work. Beautiful work. And amazing director. I can't wait till she does a film. I mean, not only let alone being beautiful in her own right, but an actually beautiful director and amazing work with her vision, the way that she had it going and the pacing of it. Beautiful work, beautiful work. I, I mean, I'm going to I'm going to read about this episode for a long time. So I hope you liked it. Leave in comments what you thought about it. And uh, uh, definitely love to uh, see more subscribers, guys. Please tell uh, your friends about us. See if you like talking Star Wars with us, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm coming live from Corbon, And uh, you guys have a wonderful day out in the galaxy. And may the Force be with you always. <laughs>